Alpha 3.0 Mars habitat is inspired by the natural formation of the Barkan Dunes. These dunes are found in the 70-kilometer crater of Sirtis Major Volcano in the area of Nili Patera. These dunes are lying on top of solidified lava beds, which indicates a location with rich minerals, such as basalt rocks and molten sulfur, that we'll use in our centering system in 3D printing. The soil is also essential for growing crops. In this area, researchers have found deposits of impact glass preserved in the craters caused by the scorching heat once produced by asteroid and comet impact. They can be essential to the design of our structure, its generous access to light and the view. Our location is also abundant with water, about 4% in mass in the first meter of ground materials. The Barkan dunes form in Nili Patera is a result of one directional wind, accumulation sand to form dunes on the 30 degree angle at maximum speeds of 60 miles an hour. By positioning our habitat with our backs to the wind, the aerodynamic geometry of the superstructure allows the sand to naturally flow. The non-static self-containing structure allows the habitat to safely move forward when the sand accumulation reaches a maximum weight point of the superstructure. Thus, make use of the natural migration of the dune, which is approximately one meter per year or less. The arch shape has similar characteristics to a radar dish, thus can act as a megaphone to enhance the capture of incoming radio signals from satellites and mission control. The sand and existing material can accumulate to aid in the shielding from radiation, gamma rays from the sun, and micrometeors, as well as preserve the habitat's temperature in the inner shell. While our architectural choice celebrates and respects the surrounding natural landscape, our structural design prioritizes safety and survivability. Below the common area, MEP connections are 3D printed, integrated inside the wall. Our design includes two airlocks, one for the rover access and the other one for the astronauts. Inside the second airlock, there are four astronaut hatches and a vacuum dust area. Our 3D printing technology benefits fast dryness and air tightness that transforms the limited 13.5 by 13.5 meters area to become an open space as we no longer need the scaffolding. The common area feels more spacious, not just in the translucent facade, but also the green area. The heart of the living area is accessible, similar to a greenhouse center where we can plant our food. Inside this greenhouse, moss will also grow on the ground to create oxygen and astronauts can walk on it to reconnect their touch senses, reconnecting their subconscious to the one at home to enhance their mental and physical health. Dry moss are dormant, suitable to be transported to space and easy to revive in an Earth-like condition. Small corrugations on the surface of the wall can accommodate an easy climbing to the upper level pods. Easy because of the lower gravity on Mars. Necessary because it promotes an exercise habit to the astronauts. We also suggest the astronauts to wear a smart outfit that enables their movement activities to be converted into electrical power source. The power generating material is known as wearable triboelectric nanogenerator. While permanent habitation on Mars will suggest to our body to adapt to the Martian environment, a transitional period of adaptation is crucial. We suggest to create an ambient of light that can benefit the circadian rhythm of the astronauts. The natural color of sunset coming from the translucent facade naturally create a morning and late afternoon ambient, while LED lighting can be used for the work area labs. Our bioluminescent coating on the interior surfaces allows the astronauts to experience low light at night to save energy and create a restful ambient. Alpha's 3D printing approach, using 90% of in situ material, 10% of recycled waste, and our unique concept inspired and recreate a natural landscape of Mars while making and saving energy, makes our design structurally solid, safe, efficient, practical, allowing the habitat to sustain and endure at ease.